All right, guys, today we're gonna to talk about why you should stop carrying pocket trash. Now, I probably don't really have any what you would consider necessarily quote unquote pocket trash out here because I largely don't own any of it. But what I mean by pocket trash when discussing it or referring to it, essentially I mean that in the EDC community, especially with those beautiful Instagram shots, there is a high pervasiveness of things like pry bars, coins, tokens, uh, patches, and just so many things that have no direct use or correlation to actual EDC life or just like literally doing things. Because at the core, when it comes down to EDC, um, the reason why we carry tools, or at least the reason why we should carry tools, is because they are things that help us do whatever jobs we do in life, um, or even just daily tasks with greater efficiency, greater ease, um, and just overall they help you solve problems or in addition to that they help you with preparedness for potential problems i think of things like edc firearms you know you're probably not going out on a daily basis and using them at least i would hope not but at the core you carry it for preparedness right so a coin a token um, a patch isn't obviously going to fall into any of those direct categories so why are there so many? So I think partly what I want to truly hit here is something that I've talked about a lot with hype knives. And to be honest, I don't think that things like pocket trash, like coins, tokens, stuff like that are entirely um, dismissible. I think there are some semi-valid reasons to them. And I think largely a lot of it can be can be brought back to the fact of things like custom knives. Like undoubtedly this custom Gavco isn't really any more functional than say this $70 um, Benchmade Griptilium, right? But there is a kind of, I don't know if I'd say message, but a kind of reason, a deeper purpose as to carry something like this. And part of that might be just to flex, but mostly that's probably because you really enjoy the maker, you want to support their work, and you like what they do. And I think if you genuinely carry things like tokens, chips, patches, because you love what they represent, um, say like there's some really cool Pokemon patches out there that are like one-to-one -one kind of, you know, scaled down versions of Pokemon collector's cards, right? Um, those I think are pretty cool for me on a second cool factor of they're just, they, they speak to a childhood and a desire to have those things, right? And so they're really cool for that reason. And so if you're buying them directly because you think that they're really cool, or once again, because you want to support the maker and what that maker contributes to the community, that's one reason of buying things like high tech chips or tokens or um, coins, whatever you'd like to call them, that might be a legitimate or valid reason. Another reason, another reason, like I said, like even with the high text chips, uh, one time I tried to get in on a uh, Mega Man drop because I really liked Mega Man. It's a older kind of vintage game, if you will, and I really liked it. And video games definitely have a contribution to my EDC. So for me, it means more than just like what it is on the surface value. However, I think the real issue in lives with pocket trash when people see those things like chips, tokens, patches, and coins and such, and they feel like either A, they need to buy them so that they can sell them to people like myself that may have a deeper value, or B, they buy them because they're trying to fit in and they, they feel like they're not a part of the club unless they have those things. So I think that there is definitely a pressure, especially when we like see newer people in the EDC community or maybe people who are, you know, kind of coming up in the EDC community and they feel like, oh, well, you know, if I don't carry, you know, a titanium pry bar, I'm not cool, right? Or if I don't have some custom EDC pen, you know, I'm obviously not that good. And it's like, honestly, when it comes down to it, the core of EDC is functionality, right? Like the core 
to our collecting and our desire to have different things is so that we can have useful tools that we may use or need to use at any given time throughout a daily situation. And that's kind of why I have this G10 tool here is this really isn't a letter opener as much as it is a self-defense tool. And so, you know, this isn't something that I use, but I have as a preparation in case I need to use it for whatever reason, especially something that can be taken into non-permissive environments. And so at the core of EDC is function, but I think a lot of people get skewed and especially like when I did my review on this G10 tool, a lot of people were asking me like, where can they get it? They want one and they, they just wanted it because it was something unique, cool, neat, but they didn't really understand the purpose behind it. Like this is a black triangle group or BD, BTG Senka, but the real reason of why you would want one of these is so that in case you go into a place that is not permissive of other options of tools, you can have something to defend yourself, right? This isn't necessarily something that everyone needs and everyone should have just because it looks really cool in an Instagram layout. It's something that serves a really functional purpose. And like I said, too, kind of drawing back to it, you know, this, um, Gavco Nurse isn't something that everyone should buy or go out and get. I personally chose to buy this because I like Michael Gavick or Gavco and I wanted to support his work and I really liked this knife and so that's why I purchased it. And so those are kind of like the core reasons to why you should buy pocket trash. There are some legitimate reasons for things like high tech chips if you like the creators of them or if something genuinely is meaningful to you, your past, or even your future. Um, yeah, so that is kind of why you should stop. However, if you are one of those people that is solely just buying pocket trash because it makes it look good for your Instagram, or it looks nice as a collection set, or you're trying to chase some kind of ulterior motive, I would definitely recommend not saying that you should just stop. Of course, you're free to do whatever you want, but definitely take a but I would definitely encourage you if you are just collecting this stuff, especially for reselling to other people, but even if you're just collecting it for no real intent or because you see other people doing it, definitely take a moment to step back because I think the biggest thing that can become an issue is when you're just collecting this stuff for no reason is ultimately companies that aren't necessarily trying to exploit you for money kind of end up exploiting you for money yeah, because the stuff doesn't really do anything for you. If it doesn't really serve a function or a secondary type of cool for you, ultimately at the end of the day, this is just a piece of titanium or this is a you know, piece of titanium milled into a pen, um, which once again does have its uses, but um, you know, like the tokens and stuff usually have a second kind of cool factor for most of the people that go after them. So anyways, I feel a little bit mixed about the whole like pocket trash world. I might end up with some high tech chips in my life at some point, but there's not a huge rush. And personally, for me, when it comes down to more like supporting makers, I'm more interested in supporting people who create tools, even if it's not directly knives, but just tools that have or can serve a highly functional purpose. Once again, similar to things like pry tools that don't necessarily get used every day, but do still have a lot of benefits and use to them. Especially with things like when you go to the range and you shoot a lot, these little pry tools can come in pretty handy, so long as you know what you're prying on. But um, yeah, especially like when you're trying to move uh, like metal or steel targets around and stuff, sometimes pry tools can help with that. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.